I'm John Richardson. I'm the executive director of Pivot Legal Society, an advocacy organization in Vancouver. Our work is focused on marginalized communities. The downtown east side is a very poor, heavily addicted community, and it raises a lot of challenges. We're part of a rapidly growing organization. As lawyers, we have to keep on changing ourselves to stay relevant and effective in what we're doing. I don't think the new solutions needed to move us to another level will come out of an old way of thinking. Gandhi said that you have to be the change you seek in the world. We all need people and places that support that. And it's really here at Hollyhock where it comes together. Hollyhock plays a really critical role in the ecosystem of social change. I think it's crucial in the speedy world that we live in that we create opportunities for the meeting of humankind and our most elegant ideas. We require at this time in the stage of humanity some revolutionary and evolutionary shifts. So a place like this allows for that kind of change to occur. I consider this place the ideal place where people come to have their dreams incubated, to have their sense of power restored and renewed and heightened. Holyoke is for those who have the patience and the wisdom to really build for the long term in a way that few other places do. This place in the planet is about rest and relationship. It's about water and wisdom. It's about connection to others. It's really a place where food and friendship unleash all kinds of potential between people who might not normally bump into one another. Of all the workshop centers that I have taught at over the years, it's the one that I most resonated with, so I've come back on a regular basis and really consider it a home. It's where a wide variety of people can come together in a beautiful natural setting and uh, really listen to cutting edge ideas. Hollyhock is a place where seeds for creative solutions are found. It's also a place where new networks are created. And so it really is a, a hothouse uh, for innovation. This place is like very primal for me, you know, because it's the, it's the woods, it's the forest, it's the ocean, it's nature. And I think that, you know, this is where we really derive our imagination from. I think that the folks who, who created this place set it up with the right intentions. It's an opportunity to connect heart to heart, you know, to see each other in a way that, uh, that maybe we're not seeing in the world. And it is about non-virtual <laughs> social networking. <laughs> and I think Hollyhock is exactly that place where the head meets the heart. It gives you an opportunity to have a kind of a foundation of why do we do this work? What does get us up in the morning and why does it matter? How can we live and work and be more generative and more socially, environmentally durable in our work and in our lives and inspire others to do so as well? When you're talking about you know, the social change and environmental issues of the day, it creates a backdrop and an environment which makes those discussions and those topics become very real. They create a space that's open, that enables people to be free and talk openly about the problems and the challenges. When I come to Hollyhock, it gives me an opportunity to unplug from the day-to-day -day stresses of my business and get a real solid sense of the big picture with like-minded folks who share my values. And there's a bridging happening between generations in activism and business and leadership and 
it's a great legacy that Hollyhock is passing on. The relationships that can be built in a place like this, the knowledge transfer and the cultivation, the deepening, are things that you can't actually put a monetary value on, but they pay dividends over a long period of time. Looking more long term is the way to go. We're not going to take care of the problems of the world just by fighting fires. I feel really privileged to be here. I feel privileged that I'm on this land and that Hollyhock exists and that the people who are running it do such an amazing job. They're looking into the future and they're working on building leaders and people who are balanced in looking at the environment, the world as it is, business, commerce, and social issues. As a leader, I have learned things here that I could never have predicted. So in that way, I think in workshops like Robert Gass's, I get exposed to the perspective of so much experience and wisdom, insight into my particular organization. I never really know um, the new perspectives that I'm going to emerge with. They're always quite unpredictable and they're always amazing. I consider this place the ideal place to do this work of cultivating leaders and their depths. The nature of the medium which is changing the way the information is captured which I run a startup and it's very early days for us. So from my perspective, there's a level of randomness here that comes with just having lots of interesting people from a wide spectrum of experiences and backgrounds and places. And that to me is an infinitely valuable source of inspiration and new ideas and new approaches to the way we do things from a personal perspective as well as from a corporate perspective. The last session we had was on the beach and people were conversing the same way that you would if you were on the beach with your friends. It's all about finding good ideas. It's an incubator of ideas and it's money incredibly well spent. It's an important investment for us to make because it's an investment in capacity and an investment in long-term change. This is a group of people that I don't normally meet in my day-to-day -day life. In the conversations that I've been having here, I've found all kinds of depth on issues that I didn't even know I needed to really be thinking about. The connections that I've made in 48 hours are probably going to be the most vital for us in the next three, four months as we move to our next phase. I felt very full and more solid and more supported. Definitely um, more powerful, more connected to what I'm doing. At the same time, providing kind of a relaxing, nurturing nest. The value I got for my money was incredible. And as much as I thought I was sharing and giving, I got back tenfold. So I know I will go again. I would look at investing in Hollyhock as investing in the long-term health and well-being of social change in North America.